Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss how to convert the data which is coming from the data table to a user defined type. That is converting this data to the instance of the class called user. So this is the user defined class which has two variable that is username password representing the two column which is present inside the data table and certain getter and setter method to get and set the value of this variable. Along with this, I'm going to add a method called to string. Basically, I'm going to override this method so that whenever I call the to string method on the instance of this class, the data should output in the format which is defined under this method. So to define a specific format, I'm going to use a method called format, which is coming from the string class. So string dot format. And here I will define the format. And the arguments will be username, variable and the password. So during the runtime, the percent s will be replaced by the value of these variables and it will be in the order which we have defined in the arguments. So this is done. I will open the step definition for this particular step. So as you can see here in the step definition, the argument is of type data table. And as we know that inside the data table class, there is a method called as list, which will convert the data coming from the data table in the form of a list. So here I will specify user dot class because I want to represent every row of the data table. That is every row of the data table as a object of our user class. So user class, and this is going to return as the list of type user. And after that, I'm going to call the for each loop to print the data. User in user list. And just call the to string method. So user dot to string. So let me put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode. So this is my runner. Run debug as JUnit test. So I will do this step over. So as you can see here, we are getting exception at the console and the exception says that cannot convert the data table to the list of user. So whenever you want to convert your data coming from the data table to a user defined data type that is a user class in our current situation, then you need to define your own register which will tell us the logic how to convert the data. If I want to convert this into a type which is supported by the Java or you can say provided by the Java, then you don't need to define any converter. So if I run this, so as you can see here, it runs without any error. But when it comes to the user defined data type, that is a user class in our situation, then you need to define your own converter. So I have already updated my cucumber jar to the latest version that is 4.3.0 because this started happening after the version 3.0. So under the package that is com.api.cucumber.transform, I'm going to create the configurator and let me call it as data table configurator. Now in order to provide the conversion logic, there is a interface which is coming from the cucumber api we need to implement that interface and provide the implementation so implement type registry configurer so this is the interface which help us to provide the logic for converting the data from the data table to the user defined data type as you can see here this is an interface so we need to provide the implementation for this two method 
so for the first method the local represent the language so simply i'm going to return the english language okay so basically we need to define the logic over here and register for to use that logic so for the registration we are going to use the argument which is supplied to this method so if you open this interface inside this interface there is a method called define data data table type which takes the argument as data table type which is a class and inside this there are different types of constructor the constructor which we are going to use is for the, this one okay so this constructor takes the user defined data type as well as the transformer so again this is an interface and this is the method which we need to override where we are going to provide the logic. So first of all, I'm going to create the table entry transformer, this one. And as you can see here, it is a generic instance. So whatever we supply as an generic to this particular interface, that is going to return by the transform method. So if we supply user class, it is going to return as the type user. So I will use table table entry transformer user transformer equal to new table entry transformer and we need to provide the implementation for transform method and as you can see here automatically the return type of this method has become the user which we have supplied over here which is our data type so for time being i'm going to just hard code uh, the values so user and pass and let me see how the data is coming inside the map so i'll just call this out entry dot to string okay so i'm going to put a big point over here after that we need to define the data table type so data table type table type equal to new data table type our class that is user dot class and the transformer which we just created over here and I need to register this data table type here so basically what I'm doing I'm creating my own a type based on our user class and then registering it to the register so that cucumber API will know how to convert the data to a user defined class which is a user in our case so type registry dot define data table type which is this one so type table so once this is done i need to specify the location of this configurator in the runner so i'm just going to copy the package name and specify under the glue here yeah. otherwise the api will not know from where to pick up the converter or you can say transformer so inside the step definition i'm going to put a breakpoint breakpoint and run this script in a debug mode so i'll do the step over so now we are inside the transformer so you can see here the data is coming in the form of a key value pair okay where the key is the column header and value is the column value so username password so this is our header and this is a value this is the header and this is the value okay so this is for the second row and similarly for every row it will come So as you can see here now it's not giving any exception although it has converted our data in the form of user object okay 
so now i'm going to just uh, remove the hard coded value from the configurator and change with the value which is coming from the data table so as we know that it is coming in the form of a map so using the method called get i can retrieve those value based on the key so entry dot get so the key is the header name which is this one and similarly entry dot get the second one okay i'll remove this one remove the breakpoint from here go back to the step definition okay and okay we have the breakpoint here already and just run this script in a debug mode so i'll do the step over now as you can see here it is able to convert the data which is coming from the data table in the form of an object of user class okay so if you inspect this one okay so this is the data so the first one and so on okay so in this manner you can convert the data which is coming from the data table in the instance of the user defined class